Hi, I'm Chris Donnelly from Huawei, and I chair the architecture subcommittee within ONAP. Uh, and ONAP is a platform uh, that we're creating uh, to help simplify service provider operations uh, and reduce operational expenses, uh, and also to allow uh, much more rapid uh, service creation and deployment uh, for customer applications. ONAP has, is developing 30 projects for our first release, uh, which is called Amsterdam. Uh, and uh, these are organized, uh, as you see on the screen. Uh, one of the uh, unique values of ONAP is the separation of design time from runtime. Uh, within service provider organizations, often these are uh, separate people. Uh, the people who are uh, responsible for uh, service design and creation uh, and planning uh, can work uh, in the SDC tool and develop the services for, for deployment. Uh, and then uh, as services are purchased by a customer, it moves into the runtime uh, organization where it's uh, managed by operations uh, within uh, the operator staff. Uh, and ONAP uh, provides a full closed loop uh, automation uh, so that uh, when the service is deployed, uh, if there are any issues, uh, it can automatically correct and uh, redeploy uh, on a good network path. The first step uh, is uh, to simplify uh, VNF packaging and uh, VNF validation uh, prior to onboarding into the system. So we have a project called VNF SDK that provides a set of tools uh, for uh, VNF vendors to uh, package uh, and then validate their VNFs. Next, we go to uh, the design time environment uh, and uh, the service design and creation project uh, within ONAP. Uh, and uh, this makes it easy for service providers uh, to create services uh, and to onboard uh, VNFs uh, into their system. And the next step is uh, the service orchestration component. And uh, service orchestration uh, is the heart of uh, the orchestration, uh, which uh, creates the, which takes the services from SDC uh, and uh, deploys them uh, within uh, the overall uh, ONAP architecture. It connects with the inventory system uh, to check uh, the available inventory uh, within the system. And next, it hands off to a series of controllers. The next step uh, is to set up the network infrastructure. Uh, we use the SDNC component uh, for SDN control and management, uh, and it has a set of uh, drivers uh, to various SDN controllers. We also have the VNF control and management components uh, that are provided by uh, AppC and the VFC components, uh, which also have a series of uh, drivers for other ecosystem components. These modules uh, connect uh, to the multi-VIM and the multi-cloud component, uh, which provides drivers for OpenStack, uh, VMware, Wind River, and Azure. And finally, uh, we have a, a series of projects uh, that uh, support closed-loop automation within ONAP. Uh, we have uh, the DCAE project, uh, which is providing data collection and analytics. Uh, we have uh, the Holmes project, uh, which is uh, providing alarm correlation. And we have a policy framework project uh, that's uh, applying operator policies and CLAMP, uh, which is the closed loop automation uh, project. And combined, uh, these projects uh, uh, monitor the network and in case of uh, any problems, uh, they can connect back to the orchestrator to make any changes uh, that are required. 